So here is the top part that we added. You saw the new shipment of metal that we got, and we essentially made it a copy of this bottom one up top. It also had the two brackets to uh, prevent the uh, two pieces from going in or out. Um, but the front one on both of these has been cut out to allow space for the uh, 50 tooth sprocket, which is going to sit in right in there, and that would have gotten in the way of that. So, uh, we cut those out, but this top part has now been added, and this is the frame for the swing arm. Uh, well, it may technically not be a swing arm because it doesn't swing, but it does the same thing. Um, we welded it up and across. We have not welded on the inside yet. That's going to happen, but it just hasn't happened yet. And these two are going to be replaced, just not where they are. So maybe back here where they don't interfere with the, uh, with the sprocket. Um, there's going to be, the motor is going to sit right in here. And it's going to come up to a jack shaft right here. So the, it gets over this bar, come down to the sprocket. And the sprocket is going to transmit power to a shaft right here. Attached to the shaft on the inside will be another sprocket, which is going to go back. Um, both of those are going to be 15 tooth sprockets, so there's no gear reduction there, and so 15 tooth here, 15 tooth there, and 15 tooth in the back, which is going to be housed inside of this 5 inch tube, which will be used several places on the bike. This will go through a shaft that sits in there just like that. And we're going to cut a piece of this about uh, 10 or 12 inches long. And that's going to go from the center. Uh, we're going to have about two or three inches sticking off this side. Um, going plus uh, whatever half of four and nine sixteenths is, which is the width of that, plus seven and a half, which is the width of half the width of the tire. So about right here, plus a little bit more to allow the tubing um, that connects to, uh, actually to the wheel. And so we'll cut a piece of our belt right there, and then our wheel is going to sit right there. So. Get that piece of tubing cut, um, but um, this is going to mount like so up in there. So we're going to um, mount or not mount, but just put this up against the side of this like that, and then draw our circle and matching with the tube, and then cut that those pieces out so the tube and these two pieces will mesh up nicely, and then we'll weld all the way across on this side. And then that, so that's the plan, and then we'll have most of the back end done. And then I got two pieces of square tubing. This one's really rusty, which it shouldn't be, it just got here. But um, this is just to add realism, it, or not realism, but what's the word? Authenticity. Authenticity. Um, this is just gonna, Cut a piece of this, it's and about right there. This is a uh, 10 inches, so 10 inches in, I haven't marked it yet. Um, it's angled at the top or beveled so that it matches up with that. It's going to go down here and then across there. But this is the right length to do that with. And then uh, we're actually going to have a little bit more sticking out. And then this is going to come out in front. This is, I ordered a little bit more than I need just in case. That's going to sit there, get angled out to the front a little bit, and it's going to attach to another piece of that 5 inch tubing up here which is going to go out to the front wheel. So, once we do that, we'll 